The minister was happy that the parties have finally resolved their differences by identifying 11 vending sites in the central business district. However, this is only a temporary arrangement and Utoni urged for a lasting solution which he said should be crafted together with the vendors themselves and promote engagement. Yes, for the first time you find a lot of resistance. They say, I know you only want to take us from where there is a market. So what I'm thinking is, maybe, and you are, I hope you are doing it already, you need to engage them. Because what we are also thinking is, we want to budget some money for the markets where people can operate from, uh, where there can be a supply of water, potable water, and sanitation. Otoni says residents need to know the direction the town was going in terms of development. The Rundu Town Council faced immense resistance from street vendors when attempting to remove them from trading in the CBD last week. Kavango East Governor Bonfatius Wakudumo had to intervene after street vendors staged sporadic protests against officials and law enforcement agents. Addressing the street vendors, Utoni said Rundu Town has great business potential because of its strategic location. Everybody wants to come and do business here. That's why you see Rundu in terms of infrastructure is growing. The population wise is also big here. But now what we are asking ourselves and what we are saying to ourselves, do we want these people to come in, in an unorganized place? He said Rundu is a gateway to the southern countries such as Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia and Angola across the border. But the town should be managed in an orderly manner to attract investment and harness its business potential.